Lama 3.1 is a new state of the art model from Meta. It's currently available in three different parameter sizes 8 billion, 17 billion, and the large Shankar's 405 billion parameters. It's currently the biggest model that we have from Meta. It's about a quarter of a terabyte, 231 gigabytes. That's that's massive model. The LMS 3.1, the 405 billion parameter currently is the only model that can rival with GPT-4.0. And as you can see in terms of quality, it's literally just behind, maybe in the same level at the GPT-4.0. But in terms of speed, it's kind of very slow. I mean, you're going to see that by yourself when you're going to build the agent with it. Here in the artificial analysis AI, you can see this page. You can see a lot of information about the quality compared to speed. As you can see, the Lama 405 is sitting over here. It's very slow, but the quality is very high. In terms of reasoning and knowledge, the 405 billion parameter model is actually just the same number as GBT40. And in terms of coding, it's the third one after Claudia and GBT40. Let's take a quick look to the benchmark of this model compared to the GBT4 Omni. But compared to the Omni GBT4, it can be did in one general benchmark. In terms of coding, it's kinda average, actually it doesn't win at all. And Cloud Sonata that's one that's winning. In mass, it's winning one and losing one for GBT4 Omni. In reasoning, it's winning one and losing one for the Cloud Sonata. And in terms of tool use, it's winning one and losing one also for Cloud Sonata. In long context, it's winning two and it loses to GBT4 and GBT4 Omni. And it's in terms of multi language model, it's getting tie with Cloud Sonata. All right, let's see this model in real action. We're gonna build a simple agent with it, nothing fancy over here. But the keynote that you need to take from this video where you can find it. If you hit Grok right now, you will not see it. And you hit, if you hit the Meta AI right now, you also will not be able to see it. And I am sure that most of you can run it locally. The only place that I could found it as an ABI right now and functional is Fireworks AI. You can go there and create an account. They give you about, I think, $5 when you start. I don't remember quickly, but right now I am about 88 cents left in my remaining credits. And you can use it, but don't waste it all on a big model like this one. We can use other models. They have a lot of models here, like the Lama 370B, and you have mixture of expert, the UI large. So that is what I am going to use for the ABI to access this model and build the agent with it. You're also going to need access to any search uh, tool that provided either Serap ABI or Tevil ABI. Either one is good, and you can use it or just access the web to search about the stuff that we're gonna use. To get this model up and running, it's a little bit different. You don't give it the model itself, but actually you have to give it some sort of uh, a link. You can get this link from the page itself of the model. When you hit go here and you click view code, you will see here this link, which is basically the link for this model and other options that you can give it. You copy this one and you put it inside the model over here. You can select the next token that you want, the temperature, and of course, don't forget to pass the ABI key. Here I created a simple one to just invoke it and see how it's work. I told it names three sports that people love, and actually it gave me different category to watch football, basketball, baseball. And here it gave me also three different sports that people love to play, which a different category, basketball, it's also football, don't know why I call it like this, and tennis, and give me another category, and three different sports that people play on ice. You're gonna give me hockey, figure skating, and speed skating. And it go on and on and on. And I didn't actually give it uh, a specific category. This is why 
it gives me a different kind of categories, which is very good, which make this model capability kind of robust to use on a large project. Maybe I don't think this is going to be like your hobby project kind of model unless you can afford using it. Here, right now, I'm going to build a simple agent using this model and I'm going to connect it to Trivial Search as a tool. I created a new variable called model, give it the same thing, but I changed the max token because I noticed the max tokens when you push it even higher, the slower the model can get in Fireworks AI. I have no idea why, maybe it's that it have some sort of server capacity issues right now, but it doesn't matter. Just make the max token not that high, just as a device. Of course, I'm going to use the Tivoli search results. And I am going to build the tool using it. I'm going to call it TV Search, give it what function it will use, a description, it tell it to act as an engine optimize and be accurate and give trust results and basically give me a search query that is very useful and I can use with a ton of information inside it. Then I bought these tools inside the initialize agent function. Just a note here, the initialization agent function right now as language chain 0.2 is currently functional, but in the 0.3 is going to be removed. They are currently moving the entire agent logic to LangGraph and basically forcing people to use LangGraph even more. And if you don't know what is LangGraph, you can check it out here. I made a video about it, how we can create a language graph agent it's a little bit different it's a bit different from the language chain agents anyway i give it the tool the model what type of agent that i want and give it a verbose for true basically i want to see what is going on in the agent chain when i execute it first question is very simple who is the head of meta ai we're creating a video about the lama 3 which is made by meta ai we should ask it about it. So I ask it equations and here it's enter the agent executioner chain. As you can hear, it's equations about the current head of meta AI is best addressed by checking the latest results. It's kind of syncing over here, the action searching. And uh, here it wasn't find it even in the first one. Then it searches again. Uh, and here corrected itself. It wanted to know the current year which is very good. After that, it, it kind of found, it, it found the Meta AI leadership team. That's what I need to search for. And here it told me, I thought, after another search, a list of the leadership team at Meta AI could not be found using the search tools. Here it, it, it's once more getting a different kind of input, the Meta AI CEO for this year. And it gave me Mark Zuckerberg, which is of course is correct because this guy is head of meta in general. So the finish the chain it gave me input who is the head of meta AI. The output Mark Zuckerberg is the head of meta AI. It's a very simple question, but as you can see here, the agent capable of thinking in very logical way. Here another example of the agent in action. I created a slightly detailed equation still to create a post that's easy to skim about the LAMS 3.1, including technical details and capabilities. And I need a title and a content for this post. Here, as you can see, the first thing is take this input and started doing the research. Give me the LAMS 3.1 technical details. I have the necessary information to create the post. Here it is. And it give me a title, the LAMS 3.1, unlock a new possibility in AI. And it give me information about it over here, but as you can see, the details output over all of it over here. So this model is one of the best model right now we have available on our hand, but the only annoying part about it that you can just simply run it on your local machine. The current position of this model right now in the chatbot arena, which is chat.lmsys.org is literally is the second one after the 3.5 sonata from claudia this is just amazing because having the second one as an open source model right now is a big deal 
the 3.1 family it seems be a new king in terms of its capability and of what it can do and i think i'm gonna make a smaller video comparing the lms3 4.5 billion parameter to the gbt 40 so thank you for watching this video i hope that you learned something new from it i'm gonna leave uh, all the link in the description also i found this amazing article in data camp that you can read it have a lot of information about the model and where you can access it but in terms of abi fireworks right now is the only one that i could find that's functional you can also download it from lama.meta.com but this model is generally large to run on a normal machine so be careful that's it thank you for watching see you in the next one